Uh, I'm divulging further and further into madness with these type of shows, I swear to God. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sin Rathew Bartholomew the Third, aka the Ralph Macchio wannabe lookalike. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I am back with another episode of the one and only, you guessed it, the most anticipated series on YouTube. Smell review. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you today Princess Connect Redive. Oh my goodness. I gotta I gotta think about where we're gonna start here because there are so many elements here we can just talk about. See, here's one thing I just learned. This show created was created by the same creator as Konosuba. So instantly I love this show. And I loved it when I first started. I, this is like a comfort anime. Like, I kid you not. Like, this is a true and true diehard comfort anime. And um, I was doing some research and I got to understand a little bit about the show. Um, it's a game. So, uh, what's it called? It's actually, it was actually a gacha game on your uh, mobile phone, I believe. And through that, they then created uh, an anime through it. And um, I believe Baki was also like that. I watched Baki. I didn't know it was like uh, a studio just created um, from scratch or something like that. But it it's... Wow. I I don't even know what to say. Uh, I really love this anime. Re, uh, Princess Connect Redive is so freaking wholesome. Titties galore. Waifus cat girls and not the not the fucking traps i don't want to sw you know what not the fucking trap <laughs> bro re zero okay i still remember this till this day okay i'm never gonna let this down okay i will never let this down but re zero when i first met felix literally tricked me i was like cat cat girl cat girl cat girl and then it was like actually i'm a boy you're what? Still doesn't mean uh, Felix is, isn't that bad. I mean, you know, like, if... You know, I can't... You guys can't keep defending me if I'm, if I'm gonna keep going on from here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just... Uh, we're gonna pretend like that never happened. So, yeah, we get we get introduced to some very interesting carriers. We got uh, Kokoro, Yuki, um, Pecorina, and then Carol. Main cast, right there. Love them to death. All of them are adorable in their own way. And only one of them is legal. For me right now. For me ever, actually, now that I think about it. If we give it a few years. Freaking, what was it? I looked it up. Kokoro, she's 11. Pe uh, Pecorina, 17. I'm 17. So therefore, we're lucky there. Uh, but what's it called? Carol, she's 14. I don't know how old... Um, Yuki is, but he's a dude anyway. Uh, I don't roll that way. Um, still doesn't mean uh, Felix is, isn't that bad. I mean, you know, like, if... So besides that, besides that, all these main cast of characters is adorable. So many adorable, like, waifus. You can just have galore. See, this show, this show, I can't, it's, this isn't even going to be a review about the show. I feel like this show is helped the catalyst of me divulging into my madness of sadness and loneliness and disconnect from, from actual women. Like, like, come on, man. How are you going to show me this fantasy filled, perfect world? That looks amazing. Beautiful women. Cat girls galore. And you're gonna say that I can't... Like, and you're just not... It's, it's annoying, okay? Okay. This is what happens, ladies and gentlemen, when you are single for a while. And you get a very heavy anime addiction. Um, you basically uh, become a pleb. That no one likes, and basically you're gonna remain single till 
you actually then get a girlfriend. And then once you have a girlfriend, your standards are so high because you've watched a lot of romance anime and um, etchy type stuff. So, yeah. That's what happens, ladies and gentlemen. It's a little bit of a little bit of history lesson here. I'm gonna try to be giving you guys on that. But besides the point, besides the point, if I uh, if we gotta get a little serious here, okay, okay, let's 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 bring it back. Let's bring it back. Let me get a little serious. Um, this show is actually genuinely good. Um, Pecorina, her real name's um, Estoria. Uh, I think that's if I believe. Yeah, she's the uh, princess to the kingdom. Um, and the main princess right now, uh, I believe is like some, she's evil. Uh, that's all we know right now. Uh, I don't know if there's a season two of this or not. I will check into that. Um, but basically, Kettle is working under, under this evil princess. Uh, she sent the spy on Pecorina because she overthrew the kingdom and, so, Kettle ends up just falling in love with the main cast and ends up joining them. Uh, it, I don't know. It's wholesome. It's wholesome. It really is. And, um, you know, I watched, uh, I watched, uh, like, two videos after this. And, um, my man, mother's ba- my man's mother's basement, you should check him out on YouTube. Link in the description. Uh, really, really good YouTuber. Um, I'll send, I'll put the link to the video I watched about what he posted for Princess Connect. Um, and yeah, I just have to say, I had agree, I agree hundred percent with what he said. Like there's, I, there is, there is like an underlining like presence in this show. Like you can feel that everything is so cheerful and happy and underneath it all. There's like this evil presence that's gonna have to be confronted soon. So while the show freaking puts up this act of looking cutesy and whatnot, there's actually something like hidden under all of it. Um, and yeah, it's 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 that's kind of the thing I like about it. Um, is that while you know it's like a, it's a while it's a comfort anime and you know I was I was happy throughout the whole time watching that I didn't really. You know, like, it just, I don't know, it calmed me down. Um, I, because I, I've been feeling kind of stressed lately, um, just with school and whatnot. It's, it's always hectic, you know, senior year. Um, but no, this is like a, a really nice comfort thing. Like, it really, like, calms you down and allows you to just, you know, enjoy the, enjoy it for what it is. But then there's this foreboding presence underneath it all. So that if you are invested in this, um this interesting story um that you know it's gonna be there and hopefully in the near future uh we get to learn about this um underlining presence and i'm interested to see what it is uh if a season two comes out so yeah i i want to say um i'm thankful you know coming off the backbone of attack on titan uh with season four uh i'm still trying to bro this is an Attack on Titan video, but all I'm gonna say is, um, when I do this tier list video coming out soon, um, yeah, I'm pretty surprised with where it landed, and I, I, I'm thankful it's there actually. But that's all I'm gonna say for now. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil that tier list video. Um, so while we're here, let's go ahead and let's spin the next anime we are going to watch. I'm gonna go ahead and click it to Future Jaden. Alrighty, so while I'm here, I want to uh, explain uh, just a little bit. So, um, with Attack on Titan, I implemented a new rule um, where I'm going to watch the whole series and do the smell review instead of um, having to just roll it. Um, so, in terms of JoJo's Bizarre Adventures with that... Um, I'm going to go ahead and wait to pick part three. And then from part three, I will watch all the way up to the, le to the recent, uh, most recent episode. And that's what I'm going to, that's what I'm going to do for Jojo. So if anyone was wondering that, um, and I just want to clear that up. So, you know, the rules I'm making here are not messy. Um, but no surprise they're probably gonna get messy i'm i'm just going along the i'm just rolling with it like 
I'm just trying to do this, make it fun, have you guys enjoy this series as much as you can. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Um, anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's spin uh, for the next anime. And let's see what we get. Oh, that was quick. Air? Huh. Huh. I'm gonna be real honest. I don't remember where I don't remember where I added this. This came out in 2005. I was two. Um. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right. So it's a drama, romance, slice of life, and supernatural. Hmm. All right. Well then, you guys have it. We're gonna be watching Air. Um. I do not. Uh, let's let's read the synopsis here. I want to know what this is about. Interesting. All right. Well, um, that sound. I you know I'm gonna be honest. That synopsis does not sound pretty promising. But um, I'm, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna give it a shot. It's a uh, it's from 2000 and uh, 2005. So well, let's go ahead and let's we'll check it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch it back to past Jaden. Alrighty. So with that being said, I hope. Ladies and gentlemen, you have enjoyed this episode. You have enjoyed this video of Smile Review. Be sure to hit that like button uh, or dislike button. Either way, it helps me grow as a content creator. And if you'd like to continue watching this series, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, you don't get to turn notification bells on. Uh, I'm doing this for fun. I'm just trying to uh, enjoy, enjoy anime, something I'm passionate about. Um, while, you know, just going on about life. That's how it be. So, yeah, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay sexy.